guys what's up so please watch these seven lessons in a row and judge yourself if you are attacking upsc or not this year what could be the possible reason or reasons behind break in southwest monsoons in india blowing of monsoon winds parallel to the western coast presence of frequent rain bearing storms uh, along the monsoon trough or the itcz and third point is blowing of dry dusty winds uh, in the northwestern part of the country so only the first option here is correct so second and third are absolutely wrong so answer is a one only so during the southwest monsoons after a few rainy days the rainfall occurs for one or more weeks and this is called as the break in the monsoon this occurs due to in northern india monsoon breaks occur when rain bearing storms are not frequent along the monsoon trough or the itcz and over the west coast the dry spell occur when winds blow parallel to the coast okay question number 2 so these questions you will find in upsc exams as well consider the following statements regarding kushan art it is developed in the western region during first to third century ad uh, this is uh, the second second statement the art depicted the emperor himself as a divine persona third is the greatest contribution of this art is the introduction of buddha's image so here answer is c that is 2 and 3 okay so kushan art of first and third century ad developed in the region of northwestern india pakistan and afghanistan and kanishka one patronized buddhism and gave significant stimulus to this art this is very important and the art showed the emperor himself as a divine persona and the greatest contribution of this art is the introduction of buddha's image and buddha and sport came to be worshiped as a person and kushan art has two main schools gandhara school and the mathura school question number 3 consider the following statements regarding quit india movement it is also known as august revolution yes because it was done in august uh, the movement witnessed high muslim participation uh, no no this is wrong parallel governments were set up at various places and satara was the first place where such a government was set up balia was the first place so answer here is a one only so quit india movement is also known as august revolution and it did not witness uh, it did not witness high muslim participation muslim league was against the movement and it considered the movement as the attempt of the congress to evict the british forcefully as a result of which muslims would be enslaved by the hindus but even some muslim league members provided support to the movement and there were no communal clashes parallel governments emerged in various part of the country and balia eastern up was the first place to have parallel government under the leadership of chittu pandey so this name is very important okay question number 4 which of the following institutions are part of the world bank group so international development association is definitely a part of world bank group okay then uh, you have international financial corp uh, finance corporation then third is multilateral investment guarantee agency and fourth is ibrd now the question is asking world bank so world bank is basically ibrd and ida so answer here is d1 and 4 but if it is asking world bank group then all the four are correct so world bank it comprises of two institutions ibrd and ida and world bank is different from world bank group world bank group comprises of ibrd ida ifc mega and exid so please remember this difference upsc will exploit this weakness question number 5 consider the following statements regarding regional comprehensive economic partnership rcep so rcep is a functional free trade agreement between asean and the six states with which has existing free trade agreements and india is one of the members of rcep yes both these statements are correct so answer here is c both one and two so rcep that is regional comprehensive economic partnership is a proposed free trade agreement between 10 member states of asean that is brunei cambodia indonesia laos malaysia myanmar philippines singapore thailand vietnam and the six states with which asean has existing free trade agreement like australia china india japan south korea and new zealand and rcep is viewed as an alternative to the tpp which excludes china and india question number 6 what do you understand by the term primary deficit so primary deficit is basically fiscal deficit minus interest liabilities so answer here is a okay so fiscal deficit excluding the interest liabilities for a particular year is called as a primary deficit so basically it is the fiscal deficit for a particular year in a economy that did not have to fulfill any interest payment so it is like a real indicator on different loans and liabilities which it is obliged to do and it obviously brings in more transparency to the government expenditure pattern okay you can read more about it here question number 7 consider the following statements regarding the recent supreme court judgment on the right to access internet which stated that citizens have the right to access the internet to gain information wisdom and knowledge so it cannot be curtailed unless it encroaches into the boundary of illegality yes it cannot be curtailed unless it encroaches into the boundary of immorality morality is nothing to do here the right comes under the scope of fundamental right to life nahi nahi yaar itna bhi nahi hai the right comes under the scope of fundamental right of expression yes so answer here is c1 and 4 so recently supreme court passed a judgment which states that citizens uh, uh, citizens they have basically 
right to access internet to gain information wisdom and knowledge and the right to access internet cannot be curtailed unless it encroaches in the boundary of illegality and fundamental right of expression includes right to be informed and the right to know and the feeling of protection of expensive connectivity question number 8 consider the following statements regarding the petroleum sector in india state owned fuel retailers own only 95% of the market share in india yes uh, petroleum prices have been deregulated but diesel prices are still regulated by the government uh, this is wrong fuel prices in india are revised on a daily basis this is also wrong so state owned fuel retailers uh, india oil core bharat uh, and hpc own around 95% of the fuel outlets in the country that is why it is correct and they are revised on the fortnightly basis fortnightly means 15 days and uh, the daily price change will avoid sharp changes in prices as affected at the end of fortnight and consumers will be more aligned to the market dynamics question number 9 consider the following statements regarding the indigo revolt of 1859 to 1860 uh, the revolt has been described in the anand mat by bankim Bank chandra chatterjee no no that is sanyasi rebellion isme book hai neel darpan by din bandhu mitra so this is wrong revolt witnessed many communal clashes across the country absolute rubbish harish chandra mukherjee supported the revolt by publishing regular reports about it this is correct so answer is c that is 3 only So Sanyasi rebellion has been described in Anand Mat written by B C Chatterjee Indigo revolt witnessed Hindu Muslim unity Harish Chandra Mukherjee supported the revolt by publishing regular reports about it and Deen Bandhu Mitra's play Neel Darpan portrays operation of the planters during the revolt so answer here is C Question number 10 consider the following statements regarding Odisha temple architecture it represents one of the earliest movements in Indo Aryan architecture yes Mukteswar temple is regarded as a watershed between early and medieval development phase of this style this is also correct so both 1 and 2 are correct so odisha temple architecture represents one of the earliest movements in indo aryan architecture and mukteswar temple is uh, not only known for its beauty and perfection but also regarded as a watershed between early and medieval development of this style of architecture temples generally do not have pillars and roof is partly supported by iron girdle and the exterior exteriors are lavishly decorated but the interiors are quite unadorned uh question number 11 the highway liquor ban imposed by supreme court has been criticized as an instance of supreme court flexing its extraordinary constitutional power uh, under which article supreme court takes this decision so uh, article 142 is the correct answer so article 40, 142 says that in exercise of its jurisdiction may pass such decree or may order as is necessary for doing complete justice in any cause or matter pending before it and any decree so passed or order so made shall be enforceable throughout the territory of india as prescribed by a law made by the parliament and until in that behalf is made so uh, in such manner as president may by order prescribe so under this the supreme court has done the 500 meter ban question number 12 which of the following association and their founding members are correctly matched so madras mahajan sabha ji subramanna mayer correct indian association as banerjee correct bombay presidency association prosha mehta correct so answer is d all of the above okay Question number 13 the period of 1870 to 1918 was a period of nation making in the path of india's struggle for independence which of the following activities was not witnessed during this period politicization of masses yes formation of a nationalist ideology yes fight for press freedom obviously mass mobilization did not happen till 1918 okay so the answer here is uh, c so the period from 1970 to 1918 was a period of nation making in the path of india's struggle for independence the period did not witness mass mobilization and agitation and politicization of masses political propaganda education formation and propagation of nationalist ideologies were the key strategies and achievements uh, question number 14 which of the following freedom fighters effectively exploited legislative councils as a channel of nationalistic propaganda so Firosha Mehta Gopal Krishna Gokhale yes Anand Mohan Bose no so answer is A 1 and 2 so Anand Mohan Bose was a barrister and one of the earliest indian political leaders during the british raj he co-founded the indian national association which was one of the earliest indian political organization and later on he became a senior member of indian national congress and he was not a member of legislative council and gopal krishna gokhale was also known as the leader of opposition and last question for this lesson is which of the following is an incorrect statement about tiger range countries so these are the countries in which tiger can live in the wild so this is wrong okay rest all roam free 13 countries north korea is the only which has not ratified the sites so these are correct so tiger rich countries include these countries okay and uh, the trc who are sites member states recently held a conference in russia and jointly vowed to double the estimated numbers of tiger left in the world so please continue watching
सो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग न्यूज पेपर्स एंड देयर फाउंडर्स आर करेक्टली मैच्ड वॉइस ऑफ इंडिया एनी बेसेंट दिस इज रॉन्ग वॉइस ऑफ इंडिया इज़ बाय दादा भाई नेहरूजी न्यू इंडिया इज़ बाय एनी बेसेंट बंगाली बाय सुरेंद्र नाथ बैनर्जी इज करेक्ट एंड सुधारक बाय गोपाल कृष्ण गोखले इज करेक्ट सो आंसर एयर इज बी दैट इज टू एंड थ्री सो बेसिकली दीज टू आर रिवर्स्ड ओके सो प्लीज कीप दिस इन माइंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन सेक्शन थ्री डी ऑफ इंडियन पेटेंट्स एक्ट हैज रिसेंटली बीन इन न्यूज इट डील्स विद विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो बेसिकली डील्स विद वॉट डज नॉट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट एन इनोवेशन अंडर द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस एक्ट सो आंसर एयर इज ए सो सेक्शन थ्री डी ऑफ पेटेंट एक्ट एक्सप्लेन एस टू वट कुड नॉट बी एन इनोवेशन अंडर दिस एक्ट एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन आर सेक्शन एटी फोर ऑफ पेटेंट एक्ट डील्स विद द इशुएंस ऑफ कंपलसरी लाइसेंसेज एंड सेक्शन सिक्सटी सिक्स ऑफ पेटेंट एक्ट्स डील विद रिवोकेशन ऑफ अ पेटेंट इन पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज इन करेक्ट अबाउट द बैंक फॉर इंटरनेशनल सेटलमेंट दट इज बेस सो इट हेल्प्स द सेंट्रल बैंक इन परस्यूट ऑफ मॉनिटरी स्टेबिलिटी करेक्ट फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी करेक्ट इट एक्ट एज अ बैंक फॉर सेंट्रल बैंक करेक्ट इट प्रमोट शेयरिंग ऑफ फाइनेंशियल इन्फॉर्मेशन विट इन द सेंट्रल बैंक इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट टैक्स अवॉइडेंस नो नो इट हेज नथिंग टू डू विद टैक्स अवॉइडेंस सो आंसर इज डी सो बिस इज बेस्ड इन बेजल विच इज अ सिटी इन स्विटरलैंड इट्स सर इज अ सेंट्रल बैंक फॉर इट्स मेबर कंट्रीज सो मस्ट अवॉर्ड अबाउट बेजल रिफॉर्म्स एंड ऑल दैट सो इट एक्ट एज अ बैंक फॉर सेंट्रल बैंक इट इज नथिंग टू डू विद टैक्स अवॉइडेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 विच आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द स्लेव डायनेस्टी इज इनकरेक्ट ओके सो इट वाज नॉट फाउंडेड बाय मोहम्मद गौरी ओके बेसिकली स्लेव डायनेस्टी वाज बाय कुतुबुद्दीन एबक सो द हु मेड द कुतुब मीनार ओके सो हियर द आंसर इज सी रेस्ट ऑल द स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट सो रूलिंग डायनेस्टीज ऑफ दिल्ली आर फाइव स्लेव डायनेस्टीज फाइव दिल्ली सल्तनत डायनेस्टीज स्लेव खलजी तुगलक सैयद एंड लोधी so mohammad ghori was the real founder of muslim empire in india when he defeated the prithviraj chauhan in the uh, second battle of uh, tarayan first he was defeated and in second battle he won and he was uh, assassinated and had no heir and the power went into the hands of a slave and viceroy qutbuddin ebak who founded the slave dynasty in india question number 20 kigali agreement has been news to which of the following international agreement it is related to so basically it is related to montreal protocol and inclusion of hydrofluorocarbons so people used to talk about cfc but people did not thought about hfcs but they are becoming a lot of issues so answer is a so montreal protocol on substance that deplete the ozone layer is an international treaty designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances that are responsible for ozone depletion and it has undergone eight revisions the latest being the kigali amendment and kigali amendment was adopted to eliminate planet warming hfc gases and they also figure in the basket of six greenhouse gases under the kyoto protocol and developed countries following the kyoto protocol report their hfc emission data to the unf triple c and the amendment to the legally binding montreal protocol will ensure that the rich and industrialized countries bring down their hfc production and consumption okay Uh, question number 21 which of the following statement is correct about the pabna revolt of bengal the peasants were protesting against the british for high increase in rent this is wrong basically it was largely a legal and non violent resistance against the zamindars so answer is c so all the, all the pabna revolt witnessed a few clashes it was largely a legal and non violent resistance against the zamindars the peasants were against the hike in rents and violation of act 10 of 1859 it had no anti british demands and it resulted in the passing of bengal tenancy act question 22 Consider the following statements regarding India's national intellectual property rights policy and choose the correct incorrect statement. So, it is not in compliance with TRIPS agreement. So, this is wrong. It is in compliance with TRIPS agreement. So, answer here is A. So, please read these three statements also and remember them. Okay, because they will be asked in the exam. So, national IPR policy is a vision document that aims to create and exploit synergies between all forms of IP. concerned statutes and agencies and it sets in place an institutional mechanism for implementation monitoring and review and the policy recognizes that india has a well established trips compliant framework to safeguard iprs which meets its international obligation while utilizing the flexibilities provided in the international regime to address its developmental concerns and ipr awareness generation of iprs legal and legislative framework administration and management commercialization of iprs enforcement and adjudication human capital development Question number twenty-three. Which of the following areas does not come under high or very high landslide vulnerability zone? So, Mount uh, Mountainous area in Andaman and Nicobar. No, it is not there. Uh, it is there rather. So, Trans Himalayan areas of the Ladakh region. Uh, yes, uh, high rainfall areas in the Western Ghats. Yes, and coastal areas of South India. So, here answer is B. That is two and three. So, they do not come under the high or very high. So, very high includes uh, Himalayas, Andaman, and Nicobar Island. Uh, steep slopes in western ghats and nilgiris northeastern regions and high vulnerability zone includes 
all Himalayan states and the states from the northeastern region of India except the plains of Assam. And moderate to low vulnerability zone includes trans Himalayan areas of Ladakh and Spiti, okay, undulated at stable relief and low precipitation area in Aravalis, and rain shadow area in the western and eastern Ghats and Deccan Plateau. So it was asking not. Which of the following is incorrect about beta a drug used to treat active TB? It is used to treat MDR TB, yes, it has no side effect. There is no drug in this world which has, does not have side effects, as the doctor I'm speaking. Every drug has some side effect. Uh, B cannot be the answer. The brand name of beta is Sirturo, it's correct. And it is included in India's National Tuberculosis Control Program, correct. So, answer is B. So, beta uh, Sirturo is a medication used to treat MDR TB, that is multi drug resistance TB, where other drugs are not functioning. And it is used along with at least three other medications for TB, and like nausea, joint pains, headaches, chest pains, QT prolongation, this is like an ECG, liver dysfunction, increased risk of death, etc. are there. And it is on WHO's list of essential medicines, and it is, uh, the, basically they are needed to save lives, a lot of them. Consider the following statements regarding UTs of India. The constitution has itself prescribed the manner of choosing the representative of UTs in the Lok Sabha. The constitution has empowered the parliament to prescribe the manner of choosing the representatives of UTs in the Lok Sabha. Members of Lok Sabha from UTs are chosen by direct election. So first statement is wrong, uh, second and third are correct. Uh, so answer is C, 2 and 3. So constitution has empowered the parliament to prescribe the manner of choosing the representatives of UT in the Lok Sabha. And the parliament has enacted UTs, direct election to the House of People Act, by which the members of Lok Sabha from the UTs are chosen by direct election. Question number 26, the speaker of the Lok Sabha derives his powers and duties from which of the following? Constitution of India, obviously it is mentioned there. Rules of procedure and conduct of business of Lok Sabha, obviously parliamentary conventions, obviously lot of conventions are there. Answer is all of the above. Jammu and Kashmir enjoys a special status under Indian constitution. Which of the following statement is correct about the relationship between the center and state? Its territory does not form a part of the territory of India. Absolute rubbish. The president has the sole power to annul or amend Article 370. No. It, in case of the JNK, all residuary powers belong to the state legislature. This is correct. Okay. So answer is C. So Jammu and Kashmir enjoys a special status under Indian constitution and its territories form an integral part of the territory of India. Kashmir is like completely 110% belongs to India and president can declare that article 370 ceases to be operative with exceptions and modifications and this can be done only with the concurrence of constituent assembly of the state and in the case of JNK residuary powers belong to state legislature except in few matters like prevention of terrorist acts activities hurting the sovereignty and territorial integrity of India and part 4 and 4a of the Indian constitution which deals with DPSP and fundamental duties they are not applicable to the state of Jammu and Kashmir India has the world's largest cattle population and it is the top milk producer country in the world this is correct UP has largest cattle population in the country no MP has largest earlier it was UP so answer is A one only so in both the statements you know and question number 29 Consider the following statements regarding the ACA or unity movement. Uh, the movement was launched in Bihar. This is wrong. Okay. So basically, uh, second is the movement was supported by Congress and Khilafat leaders. The movement was uh, supported by small zamindar. So here answer is C213. So ACA movement or unity movement was a peasant movement of northern part of Awadh during the end of 1921. And initial thrust was given by the leaders of Congress and Khilafat. And the main reason behind the movement was higher rent and the movement witnessed Hindu Muslim unity and even small zamindars participated in the movement. And last question for this lesson is, Vallabhai Patel played a significant role in India's freedom struggle. Consider the following events. Nagpur flag satyagraha, yes he participated, Khed satyagraha, Bardoli satyagraha, Borset punitive tax satyagraha. All of these Vallabhai Patel took participation, answer here is D, all of the above. So please continue watching this. So we continue our mock test. Question number 31. Consider the following statements regarding NASAR. It is a joint project between NASA and ISRO. Yes. It will be the first radar imaging satellite to use dual frequency. Yes. It will be used for remote sensing to observe and understand natural processes of the earth. This is also correct. So answer here is D. So NASAR is basically NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar. So it is a joint project between NASA and ISRO to launch a dual frequency synthetic aperture radar satellite it, and it will be the first radar imaging satellite to use dual frequency and it is planned to be used for remote sensing to observe and understand natural process of the earth and you can read more about it here so what is designed like including ecosystem disturbance it will take measurements and observe these things. Question number 32 consider the following statements about massive ordinance air blast or MOAB. 
ओके इट इज़ अमेरिकाज लार्जेस्ट नॉन न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स यस इट इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज मदर ऑफ ऑल बॉम्ब्स यस इट इज़ रिसेंटली बीन डिप्लॉयड इन द कॉम्बैट यस आंसर एयर इज डी वन टू थ्री सो जी बी यू फोर्टी थ्री बी और मैसेव ऑर्डिनेंस एयर ब्लास्ट कॉमनली नोन एज मदर ऑफ ऑल बॉम्ब्स इज बेसिकली लार्ज यील्ड बॉम्ब ऑफ यू एस मिलिट्री एंड इट इज़ अमेरिकाज लार्जेस्ट नॉन न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब and the first operational usage of mob was during the 13th april 2017 air strike against isis militants in afghanistan question number 33 consider the following statements regarding the central electricity regulatory commission uh, it is a non constitutional non statutory body no this is wrong it formulates national uh, sorry uh, this is correct rather but since it is asking for incorrect statement uh, so here the statement second and third are incorrect so answer is c so crc is a key regulator of power sector in india it is a statutory body uh, functioning with quasi judicial status under section 76 of the electricity 2003 and crc was initially constituted under the ministry of powers electricity regulatory commission for rationalization of electricity tariffs transparent policies regarding subsidies promotion of efficient and environmentally benign policies and for matters connected electricity tariff regulation Question number thirty-four: River conservation and planning work comes under the ambit of which of the following? Uh, Ministry of Water Resources, Ministry of Environment. Yes, both of them are there, and Ministry of Water Sciences also is there, but Ministry of Forest is not there. So answer is B. That is one and two. So uh, C G W B frames policies and guidelines related to exploitation of groundwater. Uh, Central Water Commission deals with water and irrigation project and reservoirs. and uh, work of river conservation and planning is between two ministry that is ministry of water resources and ministry of environment and glaciers and snow cover are dealt by ministry of earth sciences uh, question number 35 which of the following statement is incorrect about united payment interfaces it is built on imps it allows making a payment directly and immediately from a bank account money transfers with this interface are secured with the three factor authentication mandated by rbi it is two factor basically password and one uh, one time password otp on your mobile phone so answer is c uh, so basically it is two factor authentication not one one is mobile phone handset and mobile pin as the second question number 36 who among the first who, who became the first president of all india trade union congress so it was lala lajpat rai who was the first president and aitutuc was formed in 1920 with lala lajpat rai as its first president and it was founded on 31st october 1920 in bombay by lala lajpat rai joseph baptista and m joshi and a few others and until 1945 when union became organized in party lines it was a primary trade union organization in india question number 37 which of the following is incorrect about hsra hindustan socialist republican army so members of the uh, it was organized to form an armed revolt to overthrow colonial rule yes it wanted to establish a federal republic of united states of india yes after kakori robbery incident the name of the party was changed to hsra yes members of the party gave a fillip to ncm this is wrong so answer is d so non cooperation movement of 1920 led to large scale mobilization of indian population against the british rule and though intended as a non violent resistance it soon turned violent and after the chauri chaura incident gandhi ji suspended the movement and this disillusioned a section of nationalists who felt the suspension was premature and unwarranted this left a political vacuum and it led to the formation of more radical and revolutionary parties like hsra okay question number 38 resolution on fundamental rights was adopted by the congress in its which session so answer here is karachi session so signing of gandhi urban pact made people angry and on his way to karachi gandhi was greeted with black flags and karachi session is famous for the resolution on fundamental rights and national economic program and session was presided by sardar patel so they can ask you which of the following statement is incorrect okay deputy speaker of lok sabha is subordinate to the speaker no no he is not subordinate to speaker this is wrong so all the three statements are correct answer is a so deputy speaker of lok sabha is not subordinate to the speaker he is directly responsible to the house Question number forty. Consider the following statements regarding the Consolidated Fund of India and Public Account of India. All receipts are debited and uh, all payments are credited to the Consolidated Fund of India. No, no, uh, this is uh, wrong. Okay. So here, uh, second statement is no money can be taken out of Public Account of India except in accordance with the parliamentary law. Okay. So uh, the option here is wrong. Sorry, it should be. so all the receipts are credited and all payments are debited to the consolidated fund of india so this is there and all the legally authorized payments on behalf of government are made out of this fund and no money can be appropriated out of this fund except in accordance with the parliamentary law 
and public accounts of india receives money from provident fund deposits judicial deposits savings bank deposit remittances etc and this account is operated by executive action and does not need parliamentary appropriation uh, question number 41 uh, who decides the question of disqualification of a member of lok sabha arising on the ground of defection under the provision of 10th schedule of the indian constitution so basically it is the speaker of lok sabha who decides this so answer is a so speaker of lok sabha decides the question of disqualification of a member of lok sabha arising on the grounds of defection under the provision of 10th schedule of indian constitution however the decision of speaker is subject to judicial review question number 42 the decision of supreme court in disputes regarding the election of president is uh, it is original it is exclusive and it is final like you cannot challenge that so answer is d 1 2 3 Uh, question number 43 which of the following statement regarding the bittergaon brick temple is incorrect uh, it is one of the earliest examples of dravida style temple no no this is a typical example of a nagar or shikhara style of temple architecture in north india so this is wrong terracotta is correct the forerunner style is buddhist character uh, architecture correct the temple architecture style subsequently spread to many parts of southeast asia this is also correct so answer here is it is a p- example of nagar or shikhara style question number 44 consider the following statements The Lieutenant General is empowered to promulgate ordinances during the recess of the Assembly. Yes, the Lieutenant Governor is empowered to promulgate an ordinance when the Assembly is dissolved or suspended. No, this is wrong. Uh, no such ordinances can be promulgated or withdrawn without the prior permission of the President. This is also correct. So answer is C, one and three. So LG can promulgate ordinances during the recess, but cannot when the it is dissolved or suspended. And all such ordinances can be promulgated or withdrawn only with the prior permission of the President. and question number 45 consider the following statements regarding the chief election commissioner of india uh, his conditions of service and tenure of his are determined by president of india yes he holds uh, the office till the pleasure of president uh, this is wrong okay he has security of tenure he cannot take any further appointment under the government of india after his retirement this is also correct so answer here is a one only so conditions of service and tenure of the office of the election commissioner is determined by the president and chief election commissioner is provided with the security of tenure he cannot be removed from his office except in the same manner and on the same grounds as a judge of the supreme court constitution has not prescribed any qualification for the members of election commission and it has uh, not debarred the retiring election commissioners from any further appointment by the government so this statement was like he can take sorry for this so answer here is a that is one only okay so he can take the appointment so answer here is a and do continue watching so we continue our mock test discussion question number 46 which of the following style of temple temple architecture is equated with vesara style so it is basically chalukyan style of temple architecture is vesara style so chalukyan style also called as karnataka style of temple architecture is equated with vesara style of temple architecture and basically it is an outgrowth of early dravidian style but there is no ambulatory in its architecture okay so remember these points they are asked in prelims a lot question number 47 architecture is massive rugged and simple buildings are perfectly proportionate red stone red stone and marble were given up for rubble coated with thick plaster to which period of delhi sultanate does this style of architect belong so it is typically in seen in like case of tughlaq period so you can see firoz shah's tomb at hoskas fort of adilabad so answer is b so architecture of tughlaq period was massive simple huge and rugged it had typical thick sloping walls multiple dome roofs building shape perfectly proportionated red red stone and marble was given up for rubble coated with thick plaster an example includes fort of adilabad firoz shah's tomb at hoskas etc Question number forty-eight. Which of the following state and their folk dances are correctly matched? Uh, so, devil dance in Arunachal Pradesh. No, it is in Jammu and Kashmir. So, this is wrong. Ghumar, Rajasthan. Yes. Khayal, Uttar Pradesh. Yes. Jhora belongs to Uttarakhand. So, answer is C, two and three, and you can read it here. Question number forty-nine. Which of the following terms associated with modern administration and its meanings are correctly matched? So, Raju ka is delivering justice, giving awards and punishments. This is correct. Uh, Sanida, the highest officer in charge of assessment of revenue. No, he is the chief custodian of state treasury and storehouse. And Samharta is the chief custodian of state treasury and storehouse. No, he is the highest officer in charge of assessment of revenue. So the options are reversed. So here answer is A, one only, and the options are reversed. Question number fifty: Great boundary fault separates which of the following? So basically, Aravallis are separated from Indian mountains by a great boundary fault. So it is at Satur Bundi district in Rajasthan is characterized by a faulted boundary between pre Aravallis and upper Vindhyans and it represents a zone of disruption made by a number of parallel and oblique faults resulting in a step like feature. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आइलैंड इज अ वॉलकैनिक आइलैंड सो मॉरिशियस इज अ रिलेटिवली यंग जियोलॉजिकली वॉलकैनिक आइलैंड जस्ट क्रिएटेड सम एट मिलियन ईयर्स अगो एंड टुगेदर विद सेंट ब्रांडन री यूनियन एंड रॉड्रिक्यूज द आइलैंड इज पार्ट ऑफ द मैस्करीन आइलैंड्स एंड दीज आइलैंड्स हैव अमर्ज एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ जाइजेंटिक अंडर वाटर वॉलकैनिक इप्शन दैट हैपन थाउजेंड ऑफ किलोमीटर्स टू द ईस्ट ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंटल ब्लॉक मेड अप ऑफ एफ्रिका एंड मेडागेस्कर एंड ऑल अदर आइलैंड्स आर लार्जली कोरल आइलैंड्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी टू कोलेरू लेक इज सिचुएटेड एट द माउट ऑफ कावेरी रिवर पुलिकट लेक इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द बे ऑफ बंगाल बाय द व्हीलर आइलैंड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट हेयर सो बोथ दी स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट रॉन्ग कोलेरू लेक इज सिचुएटेड बिटवीन कृष्णा एंड गोदावरी रिवर सो दिस इज रॉन्ग एंड पुलिकट लेक इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम बे ऑफ बंगाल बाय श्री हरिकोट आइलैंड एंड नॉट व्हीलर आइलैंड सो आंसर इज डी ओके बोथ ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स आर रॉन्ग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एनिमल स्पीसीज इज नॉट अ क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड एनिमल स्पीसीज ऑफ इंडिया so uh, himalayan brown bear is critically endangered pygmy hog is there elivra rat is also there but red panda is just endangered and it is not critically endangered so answer is c so red panda is an endangered and not critically endangered animal species question number 54 which of the following waterfalls is located in eastern ghats of india so basically dudhuma waterfalls which are at machkund river in odisha and andhra pradesh state of india and uh, they are one of the highest waterfalls in southern india and its water support a large hydroelectric project called as machkund hydroelectric power project and machkund is a very important place for pilgrimage so answer is d uh, question number 55 rivers originating in amar kantak plateau of india have a uh, so it basically it has a radial drainage pattern so answer is d okay so amar kantak region is a unique natural heritage area and is the meeting point of the vindhya and the satpura ranges with the makal hills being the fulcrum and this is where the narmada river son river and johila river emerge and when the rivers originate from a hill and flow in all the directions the drainage pattern is known as radial so basically this is radial and the rivers originating from the amar kantak range uh, is a very good example of it uh, question number 56 consider the following statements regarding harike wetland um, it is located on the confluence of bias and satluj rivers yes it is in punjab state this is correct it is one of the smallest wetlands of north india uh, this is wrong okay uh, it is an artificial riverine and lacustrine wetland this is correct so answer is c 1 and 3 so it is the largest wetland in the northern india and punjab state in india and wetland and the lake were formed by constructing the headworks across the satluj river way back in 1953 and the headworks is located downstream of the confluence of the bias and satluj rivers and there is rich biodiversity migratory fauna of waterfalls globally threatened species are also there and it is recognized as wetland by ramsar con- con- uh, convention okay please mention in which country ramsar is there this is asked frequently it is a middle east country okay question number 57 according to indian meteorological department an area is said to suffer from heat wave of the so here the cut off is temperature is 4.5 degree celsius above the usual temperature of the region absolute temperature near relative hai okay so answer here is a so with an aim to make the interface more user friendly and fill the communication with civil administration indian meteorological department has changed the languages redefined many of its terms heat wave is temperature greater than 4.5 degree celsius above the usual temperature severe heat wave is temperature greater than or equal to 47 degrees cold wave is temperature less than 4.5 degree celsius below temperature of the region and uh, severe cold wave is temperature absolute 2 degree celsius or lower question number 58 where is the national institute of solar energy located so basically it is located in gurugram which was earlier known as gurgaon which is close to delhi okay so nice is an autonomous institute under ministry of new and renewable energy established to facilitate the research and development testing certification skill development activities in the field of solar energy technologies and nice also supports the ministry in implementation of national solar mission so institute is committed to development and demonstration of solar energy related technologies its application to the common man in the country and nice continuously strives to improve the facilities so as to compete with the latest technological advancement and it is located in gurugram haryana india question number 59 consider the following statements regarding the polar vortex it is a persistent large scale low pressure zone that lies in the upper atmosphere near the earth's pole Uh, when the polar vortex is strong cold arctic uh, air is equator words uh, bringing with it rapid and sharp temperature okay this is wrong this statement is wrong polar vortex depends on the temperature difference between poles and equator this is correct so answer here is c 1 and 3 okay so polar vortex is basically an upper level low pressure area lying near the earth's pole 
and each polar vortex is a persistent large scale low pressure zone so these are the keywords which you should know uh, obviously everything rotates counter clockwise at the north pole and clockwise at the south pole because of the coriolis forces okay and you can read more about it here and when the vortex of the arctic is strong there is a single vortex and the arctic area is well contained so that is why statement 2 is wrong and last question for this lesson is which of the following countries does not share lake victoria so lake victoria is largest lake in the africa by area it is the world's largest tropical lake it is the world's second largest freshwater lake and it is the source of the nile river so it is basically shared among three countries tanzania has the highest percentage of 49 percent then you have uganda and then you have kenya so answer here is d that is narrow uh, because it is not a country so it is technically a it is capital of kenya so you should know these things so thank you for watching this continue the mock test hey guys so we continue our mock test uh, question number 61 the global biodiversity outlook report is a flagship assessment report of which of the following so basically it is uh, of convention on biological diversity so here the answer is a okay so uh, the second meeting of the conference of the parties that is cop called for the preparation of a periodic report on biological diversity that is the global biodiversity outlook gbo and it is a flagship assessment report of cbd and it provides a summary of the status of biological diversity analysis of the steps being taken to ensure biodiversity is conserved and used sustainably and the benefits arising from the use of genetic resources are shared equitably and three editions of the report have been prepared in preparation for the fourth edition are under way international conference on population and development was held in which of the following cities answer is cairo cairo is in egypt okay so united nations coordinated, coordinated an international conference on population development in cairo egypt in 94 and its resulting program of action is the steering document of unpfa the united nations population fund and the conference achieved consensus on the following four issues that is universal education reduction of infant and child mortality reduction of maternal mortality access to reproductive and sexual health services including family planning which of the following is uh, not one of the eight missions of napcc very commonly asked so eight missions include solar mission enhanced energy efficiency sustainable habitat water mission sustainable sustaining himalayan ecosystem green india sustainable agriculture and strategic knowledge for climate change three are sustainable sustainable habitat sustaining himalayan ecosystem sustainable agriculture so here the answer is b that is national wind mission is not there so you can read more about it here please remember these eight names they are asked very frequently uh, question number 64 in the famous bombay case the supreme court has laid down the proposition for basically president's rule was being abused a lot and in 1994 in sr bombay case so supreme court laid down some guidelines for imposition of president's rule in a state so sr bombay versus union of india 1994 was a landmark judgment of supreme court of india where the court discussed at length provisions of article 356 of the constitution of india and related issues and this case had huge impact on center state relations and the judgment attempted to curb the blatant misuse of article 356 of the constitution of india which allowed president's rule to be imposed over state governments uh, question number 65 which of the following statements regarding the attorney general of india is incorrect he holds office during pleasure of president correct he must be qualified to be appointed as a judge of high court no this is supreme court and he is not debarred from private legal practice correct he has a right to take part but cannot vote yes uh, all these statements are correct first is wrong because it is supreme court and not high court question number 66 the speaker of lok sabha is president of all the forums except the youth yes disaster management yes global warming and climate change yes population and public health is presided by the chairman of rajya sabha so you should know these things they are asked in the exam so the speaker of lok sabha is president of all the parliamentary forums except the parliamentary forum on population and public health which is presided by the chairman of rajya sabha uh, question number 67 resolution for the discontinuance of the national emergency can be passed by so it can be passed only by lok sabha okay so just remember that so answer is a so resolution for the discontinuation of national emergency can be passed by only lok sabha uh question number 68 which of the following statements regarding the ordinance making power of the president is incorrect he can promulgate an ordinance only advice of council of minister correct ordinance may modify or repeal any act of parliament correct ordinance can alter or amend a tax law correct the ordinance can be issued to amend the constitution okay no ordinance cannot amend constitution constitution amendment what tedy he reads very difficult so answer is d okay question number 69 which of the following is right bank tributary of brahmaputra very commonly asked so answer here is manas so left bank tributaries include uh, 
दिबंग सिकंग लोहित बुरही दिहंग धनसरी एंड सुभानश्री कामिंग मानस एंड संकोश आर इट्स राइट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज राइट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरी आंसर इज मानस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग द रॉक रिलीफ ऑफ द डिसेंट ऑफ गैंजेस गंगा इट इज़ द लार्जेस्ट ओपन एयर रॉक रिलीफ येस दिस इज करेक्ट एंड इट इज डेजिग्नेटेड एज यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइड दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो आंसर एयर इज सी दैट इज बोथ वन एंड टू सो डिसेंट ऑफ द गैंजेज बेसिकली इट इज शुड बी गंगा इट इज एंग्लीफिकेशन इज अ एंग्लीसाइजेशन रादर इज अ मॉन्यूमेंट एट महाबलीपुरम ऑन द कोरोमंडल कोस्ट इन द कांजीपुरम डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु एंड इट इज अ जायंट ओपन एयर रॉक रिलीफ कार्ड ऑन टू मोनोलिथिक रॉक बंडल बोल्डर्स एंड द वाटर ऑफ द गैंजेज आर बिलीव टू पोजेस सुपर नेचुरल पावर्स द डिसेंट ऑफ द गैंजेज एंड अर्जुनाज पेनेंस आर पोर्ट्रेड इन स्टोन एट द पल्लवा हेरिटेज साइट सो इट इज अ यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट सिंस नाइनटीन एटी फोर Which of the following is not a UNESCO World Heritage Site of India? Humayun Storm yes, monuments at Ampi yes, uh, mountain railways of India yes, Dachi Gam National Park. So Dachi Gam National Park is not uh, the World Heritage Site. So it is located 22 kilometers from Srinagar, and the park has been a major protected area since 1910 uh, because like Maharaja of Jammu Kashmir uh, decided that about 100 years ago. Question number 72. Consider the following statements regarding the Ajanta Caves. uh the caves are entirely buddhist uh yes these caves have been referred by hyun sang and fayan yes only paintings and architecture are found in these rocks nahi no, yaar like lot of stuff is found here okay and uh, so mahayan as well as hinayan phases of buddhist architecture are well defined here so answer is c124 okay so architecture sculpture as well as paintings are found in ajanta caves and ajanta caves in aurangabad district of maharashtra are about 30 rock cut buddhist cave monuments dating from uh, 2nd century bc to 480 to 650 ad and the caves include paintings architecture rock cut sculptures and they are among the finest surviving examples of ancient indian art and particularly expressive paintings that present emotion through gesture pose and form question 73 which of the following is an incorrect statement about amravati school of art so the basically it is used white marble limestone as a medium of architecture correct king princes and palaces are represented prominently in sculpture this is also correct the central character of amravati school of art is nature so this is wrong okay and the white limestone of sculptures create the illusion of marble this is correct answer is c okay so you can read about it here basically it is in andhra region of south eastern india during the rule of satvahan dynasty you must have heard the name of gautami putt satkarn and it is known for its super reliefs which are among the world's finest example of narrative sculpture okay it, white limestone does create the illusion of marble so this is correct and it is a sensuous art reflecting the joys of the people who had adopted the way of the buddha as a new path of freedom and the theme were buddha's life and jatak tales not nature okay question number 74 kalvelia is a famous folk dance belonging to the state of kalvelia basically i am from rajasthan so i have seen this dance answer is b So Kalvelli is one of the most sensuous dance form of Rajasthan performed by a tribe of the same name and they are famous for uh, their dance which is an integral part of their culture both men and women in the tribe participate in this activity to celebrate joyful occasions and Kalvelli of folk songs and dances were declared as part of intangible heritage list by the UNESCO Last question for this lesson is what is the reason for defiance of the phenomena of gravity in the magnetic hill of Ladakh So basically layout of the area and surrounding slopes create an optical illusion that the downhill road is actually an uphill road it's just an optical illusion there is nothing more than that so magnet hill is a gravity hill located near leh in ladakh india and the layout is such that a downhill road is actually an uphill road that is an optical illusion and objects and cars on the hill may appear to roll uphill in defiance of gravity in fact they are rolling downhill the other two such magnetic hills are in gujarat one is near bhuj in kalo dungar the black hills okay kalo means black dungar means hills and other at tulsi sham so continue watching this two more lessons to go so question number 76 what do you understand by the term zoonosis so zoonosis are basically diseases which are found in animals but they can be naturally transmitted to humans zoo means animal okay so answer is a so zoonosis are infectious diseases of animal that can naturally be transmitted to humans they include ebola salmonella cis and zoonosis can be caused by a range of diseases like bacteria virus fungi parasites of 1415 pathogens known to infect humans 61% were zoonotic 
मोस्ट ह्यूमन डिजीज अर्लियर ओरिजिनेटेड इन एनिमल्स हाउ एवर ओनली डिजीज एट रूटीनली इन्वॉल्व एनिमल टू ह्यूमन ट्रांसमिशन लाइक रेबीज आर कंसिडर्ड एज डायरेक्ट जोनोसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अ डॉग एज रेबीज इट कैन इफ इट इफ इट बाइट्स यू यू विल हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑलमोस्ट हंड्रेड परसेंट हैव रेबीज अनलेस यू आर वैक्सीनेटेड ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग स्टेम सेल्स दीज आर अनडिफ्रेंशिएटेड बायोलॉजिकल सेल्स दैट कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट इन टू स्पेशलाइज सेल्स एंड कैन डिवाइड टू प्रोड्यूस मोर स्टेम सेल्स दिस इज करेक्ट दीज आर ओनली फाउंड इन द एम्ब्रियो स्टेज ऑफ एन एनिमल नहीं नहीं दे आर फाउंड इन अडल्ट स्टेम सेल्स ऑल्सो बोन मैरो वगैरह में स्टेम सेल्स आर यूज टू ट्रीट मैनी ह्यूमन डिजीज एंड हार्बर नो कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी दर इज लॉट ऑफ एथिकल इशूज लॉट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज आर देर अराउंड इट सो आंसर इज ए वन ओनली सो स्टेम सेल्स आर अनडिफ्रेंशिएटेड बायोलॉजिकल सेल्स दैट कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट इन टू स्पेशलाइज सेल्स एंड कैन डिवाइड इट टू प्रोड्यूस मोर स्टेम सेल्स एंड इन मेमल्स देर आर टू ब्रॉड टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेम सेल्स एम्ब्रॉनिक स्टेम सेल्स विच आर आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम द इनर सेल मास ऑफ ब्लास्टोसिस्ट एंड अडल्ट स्टेम सेल्स विच आर फाउंड इन वेरियस टिश्यूज अडल्ट स्टेम सेल्स आर फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन वेरियस मेडिकल थेरेपीज लाइक बोन मेरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन देर आर करंटली नो अप्रूव ट्रीटमेंट्स यूजिंग एम्ब्रॉनिक स्टेम सेल्स एंड बोन मेरो ट्रांसप्लांट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ स्टेम सेल थेरेपी दैट हैज बीन यूज फॉर मेनी ईयर्स विदाउट कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी and no stem cell therapies other than bone marrow transplant are widely used okay question number 78 which of the following has been recently classified as an organ so mesentery is basically a tissue which connects the intestine to the abdomen and 100 years 400 of years people thought it is multiple separate parts but now it has been organized classified as an organ okay new research by j calvin coffey of professor of surgery in limerick in ireland described the mesentery as one continuous structure that is why it is considered as an organ Question number seventy nine. Consider the following statements regarding the great Indian bustard. So, it is an omnivorous animal. Yes, it is correct. The animal lives in wet grasslands and tropical forest. No, it lives in dry grasslands. This is wrong. Since second statement is wrong, the only option that can be correct is C one three four. And it is a critically endangered animal species. It is the same habitat as black bug. This is correct. So, answer is C. Question number eighty. Under section thirteen one d of Prevention of Corruption Act. A public servant is said to commit the offence of criminal misconduct if he, while holding the office as a public servant, do which of the following? So, work to disrupt the sovereignty of integrity of India is not corruption. Obtains for any person any valuable thing or pecuniary means monetary advantage without any public interest. So, this is B. So, this is typically self-explanatory. Section two ninety five of Indian Penal Code deals with which of the following? basically deals with hate speech a lot of hate speech issues controversy are coming in day in and day out in india so section 295a of the ipc enacted in 1927 says that whoever with deliberate and malicious intention of outraging the religious feelings of any class by words either spoken or written by signs or gestures insults or attempts to insult the religion or the religious beliefs of that class shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 3 years okay okay so it is related to hate speech Question number eighty-two. If the CM loses majority support in the assembly, then the governor has following options. This means the government, yes, governor can do it. Send a report to the president, yes. Call the session of the assembly, yes. All these three things, uh, like governor, governor can do it. So under Article one sixty-four, he can dismiss the government. Under Article three fifty-six, he can send a report to the president. Under Article one seventy-four, he or she can call the session of assembly. But on Article one seventy-four is silent whether the governor should consult the state cabinet or not before advancing the session. Question number eighty-three: Consider the following statements regarding the Indian pharmaceutical industry. It accounts for about ten percent of the global pharmaceutical industry in terms of value. Uh, this is volume one point four percent in terms of value. So this is wrong. India's strength lies in the production processing of finished products. Correct. Active ingredients from China constitute only one percent of India's import. This is wrong. Okay, only 0.3 percent uh, in 91, but by 2012 it was 47.6 percent, and latest figure is almost two thirds. That is 66 percent. So answer is B. That is two only. So Indian pharmaceutical industry have 1.4 percent of the value, 10 percent of the volume, and India's strength is in formulation, production, and processing bulk drugs into finished products. And bulk drug production, the production of active ingredients, has not received enough attention. And in 1991, Chinese active ingredients accounted for only 0.3 percent of the bulk drug import. And by 2012, their share had gone up to 47.6 percent. Latest figures show they are almost at 66 percent. Now it is a typical, typical, typical question. Which of the following is a Kharif crop? Which of the following is a Rabi crop? Which of the following is a Zayed crop? So I'll tell you all the Kharif and Rabi crop. Here the answer is groundnut. So WMB, that is wheat, mustard, and barley are Rabi crops. 
सो रबी क्रॉप्स इंक्लूड वीट बार्ले ओट्स चिक्पी मस्टर्ड लिनसीड रिमेंबर दैम खरीफ क्रॉप्स इंक्लूड राइस मेज सॉर्गम बाजरा सो इट इज सोन इन अक्टूबर एंड कट इन लाइक मार्च अप्रैल ओके एंड दीज आर इन मार्च एंड लाइक इन लाइक दे आर डन इन जस्ट बिफोर जया दैट इज मे जून रीजन ठीक है सो सो खरीफ क्रॉप्स आर द वंस विच रिक्वायर द हीट पीरियड एंड सो आंसर हेयर इज डी ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आइटम इज नॉट गिवन एनी वेटेज वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग द सी पी आई फॉर रूरल एरियाज फ्यूल एंड लाइट यस एजुकेशन यस रिक्रिएशन एंड अम्यूजमेंट यस वर्ल्ड डी इज रिलेटेड टू हाउसिंग ओके सो इट इज नॉट गिवन एनी वेटेज सो आंसर एयर इज डी ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज गिवन द लार्जेस्ट वेटेज इन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी आई इन इंडिया सो प्राइमरी आर्टिकल्स फ्यूर मैन्युफैक्चर्ड प्रोडक्ट्स आर गिवन द लार्जेस्ट वेटेज इन डब्ल्यू पी आई इन इंडिया सो आंसर इज सी मैन्युफैक्चर्ड प्रोडक्ट्स ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सेवन वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय व्हाइट लेबल ए टी एम सो बेसिकली व्हाइट लेबल ए टी एम आर ओन्ड एंड ऑपरेटेड बाय अ थर्ड पार्टी एंड डू नॉट बियर द लोगो ऑफ द बैंक द सर सो यू कैन टेक आउट मनी फ्रॉम एनी बैंक डज नॉट मैटर फ्रॉम आई सी आई सी आई और एस बी आई डज नॉट मैटर एट ऑल सो आंसर एयर इज ए सो ब्राउन लेबल ए टी एम्स आर ओन्ड बाय द थर्ड पार्टी एंड द कंसर्न बैंक ओनली हैंडल्स कैश एंड प्रोवाइड्स बैक एंड सर्वर कनेक्टिविटी बट दे कैरी द लोगो व्हाइट लेबल ए टी एम्स डू नॉट कैरी एनी लोगो दे आर जस्ट लाइक दे आर ए टी एम यू कैन गो एंड टेक आउट मनी देर इज नो आइडेंटिफिकेशन एट ऑल क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी एट लीन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉम्पिटिटिवनेस स्कीम हैज बीन लॉन्च विद द एम ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो दे हैव बीन लॉन्च टू एनहेंस द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉम्पिटिटिवनेस ऑफ माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस सो आंसर एयर इज ए सो लीन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉम्पिटिटिवनेस स्कीम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेशनल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉम्पिटिटिवनेस प्रोग्राम अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एम एस एम ई एंड इट एम्स एट इम्प्रूविंग द ओवरऑल प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ एम एस एम ईज बाई रिडक्शन ऑफ वेस्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ लीन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट दिस स्कीम वॉज स्टार्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन एज अ पायलट क्लस्टर प्रोजेक्ट इन हंड्रेड क्लस्टर्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन इट सक्सेस दिस स्कीम हैज बीन स्केल्ड अप फॉर फाइव हंड्रेड मोर क्लस्टर्स ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पब्लिशेज द यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज इंडेक्स so it is published by world bank so it is very typically asked these reports okay and last question for this lesson is quadrilateral coordination group has recently been in news which of the following countries is not a part of this group so it includes afghanistan pakistan china and usa iran is not a participation india is also not a participant remember that they might confuse you with india so afghanistan pakistan china and usa basically this group is involved in peace talks between afghanistan and government and taliban in afghanistan and shown the desire to include india also in the group that is why it is important so last lesson will follow after this thank you which of the following rivers and their river projects are correctly matched pancheshwar project in sharda river yes this is correct bargi project in narmada river this is also correct matila project is basically in betwa river and hasdev bango project is on mahanadi river so they are criss crossed so answer here is 1 and 2 that is a so they are criss crossed so you can see here question number uh, 92 Recently the election commission of India introducing section 8 in its model code of conduct which of the following is correct about this section so it demands that manifestos should reflect rational and indicate the ways to meet the financial requirements the first option itself is correct so answer here is a section 8 of the mcc states among other things that in the interest of transparency level playing field and credibility of promises it is expected that manifestos also reflect the rationale of the promises and broadly indicate the ways and means to meet the financial requirements for it and trust of voters should be sought only on those promises which are possible to be fulfilled question number 93 which of the following factors is included in the calculation of macroeconomic vulnerability index of a country or a state fiscal deficit yes current account deficit yes rate of inflation is also correct so here the answer is d that is 1 2 3 so macroeconomic vulnerability index as mentioned in the mid year economic analysis of 2014-15 released by the ministry of finance adds together the rate of inflation current account deficit and fiscal deficit of a country and the index value can be compared across countries for different time periods to gauge their relative vulnerability and according to the data in the beginning of 2013 india was on top of the list with an index value of 22.4 and though india's macroeconomic vulnerability has come down it still needs to be watchful so answer here is d uh, question number 94 which of the following is not a natural method of dna transfer between cell transformation yes transduction yes conjugation yes transfection 
is the process of basically introducing naked or purified nucleic acid into eukaryotic cell this is not uh, their natural method okay so answer here is abd abd villiers ah. genetic exchanges among bacteria occur by several mechanism transformation is basically the recipient bacteria takes up extracellular donor dna in transduction donor dna is packaged in bacteriophage bacteriophage is the virus which infects bacteria okay in conjugation the donor bacterium transfers dna to the recipient by mating and recombination is basically rearrangement of donor and recipient genome to form new or hybrid genomes and this happen everywhere and transfection is basically the process of deliberately introducing naked or purified nucleic acid into eukaryotic cells you should read more on biology because a lot of questions are asked from this Question number 95 consider the following statements regarding the cartagena protocol to the convention on biological diversity it seeks to protect and traditional knowledge and share benefits arising from its utilization uh, yes uh, this is basically uh, cbd is not related to that it's basically bio safety so this is wrong it seeks to protect biological diversity from potential risk posed by gmo this is correct it makes clear that products from new technologies must be based on the precautionary principle this is also correct so answer here is c that is 2 and 3 only so cartagena protocol on biosafety to the cbd is an international agreement on biosafety as a supplement to the cbd that is uh, convention on biodiversity effective since 2003 it seeks to protect biodiversity from the potential risk posed by genetically modified organism resulting from modern biotechnology and the protocol makes it clear that products from new technology must be based on the precautionary principle what do you mean by precautionary principle that if you do not know that whether it is harmful or useful then do not use it because it may lead to a lot of harm to the humanity just because you don't have evidence right now it does not mean that you can use it so this is this allows a country to ban imports of gmos because there is not enough scientific evidence that the product is safe and it requires exporters to label shipments containing genetically altered commodities such as corn or cotton which of the following indian rurals was a contemporary of buddha so bimbisar okay chandragupt maurya uh, uh, sorry it was bindusar okay so bindusar is the son of chandragupt maurya and then you have ashoka bimbisar is different okay so here answer is b question number 97 which of the following was the first muslim president of indian national congress who among them answer is badruddin tayyab ji he was very early in 1887 he became the president in 1885 congress started and in just in 2 years he became the president it was the madras session i think so yes he was the first muslim president of inc he presided the madras session in 1887 uh, question number 98 recently the term bad bank has been in news which of the following is true about a bad bank so it is a corporate structure to isolate illiquid and high risk assets held by the bank or for any financial organization so this is correct so answer here is a so a bad bank is a corporate structure to isolate illiquid and high risk assets held by a bank or any financial organization so a bank may accumulate a large portfolio of debts or other financial instruments which obviously increase the risk and it becomes difficult for the bank to raise capital so they want to separate good from the bad and they want to take care there are certain organization which will take care of this uh, bank's financial health so they are the bad banks okay question number 99 which of the following is a genetic disease night blindness color blindness anemia and hair lip so night blindness is because of vitamin a deficiency anemia is because of lot of reasons iron is one of the most common uh, then you have color blindness color blindness is basically inherited okay and hair lip may or may not uh, have a genetic component so answer here is b color blindness also known as color vision deficiency is the decreased ability to see color or differences in color and color blindness can make some educational activities very difficult like buying fruit picking cloth reading traffic lights can be more challenging okay and people with total color blindness also have decreased visual acuity and they are uncomfortable in uh, bright environments and question number 100 which of what do you understand by ipv6 so it is basically it is a internet protocol version 6 so it is the most uh, recent version of the internet protocol So IPv6 is Internet Protocol Version 6, and the communication protocol that provides an identification and location system for computers or networks and routes uh, traffic across the internet. IPv6 was developed by Internet Engineering Task Force to deal with the long anticipated problem of IPv4 address exhaustion, and IPv6 is intended to replace IPv4. So thank you for watching this mock test. I'll make two, three more mock tests in next uh, one or two weeks. So just stay tuned and do follow me on an academy. Thank you.